Well, good morning, everybody. Still raining from last night, from the little thunderstorms we've had, even though they were considered to be severe. Never saw anything that was really that bad. I did capture one pretty decent one with the GoPro. Um, the only problem is, once again, the suction cup mounts kept falling off the window. The iPhone one didn't, surprisingly. Unfortunately, I didn't catch any with that. It's all right, but good morning, and uh, on our way to work. Today we get to train Tim on the opening routine, so should be a uh, a fun day. But uh, I don't know how long we're gonna have rain. Uh, this could be uh, <laughs> gonna piss people off for a holiday weekend and have rain. Good afternoon, everybody. So unfortunately, after a very rough day at work, I am not going anywhere else. Hope you're gonna stay home. As soon as we get done with this little 91 degree walk, we're going to park our asses in the AC. Because I am not going to torture them. So, before I left, we had an idiot leave their, looked like an Australian Shepherd, in the freaking car. And the dog was carrying on. And I just actually read the law that they put in, they passed down a couple years ago. It was a funny rabbit. And Priya scared it away. Shocker. Thanks, Priya. Rip my belt loop off. Anyway, um, they actually passed the law. Only police and animal control in Pennsylvania. Citizens cannot break a window. You can if you want to pay for it. But you're supposed to notify the authorities. That's what we tell people to do. And they're like, well, why can't you do it? Because the store is not allowed to. Citizens have to. The store is not allowed to intervene, which is stupid. We can page them to their vehicle and tell them to remove the, vehicle, to remove the animal. I don't know. It's just, it's stupid. It really is. So, that kind of was pissing me off at the end of the day. But, uh, just, just a lot of stupid things today. But, home now. I'm not sure. Tomorrow I'm scheduled 11 to 8. But I was actually thinking, but the, I think the closer doesn't come in until 3. In order to cover her lunch, she won't go till 7. I don't want to be there at 3 o'clock tomorrow night. It really screws us up. Because I'll just get home in time for Terry to basically walk out the door. So, I don't know. We'll see. 11, I might be able to get up in the morning and get them to the park. But Mike and Nancy, they went up to state New York. They have friends that have cabins and stuff up there. So they went up there for the weekend. So, good for them. They need to get away, I think. <laughs> Hopefully Nixon behaves himself. But highly unlikely. So, yeah. Get these guys out. Oh, I'll have to show you too. I did put together the new cold shoe mount. It's more real, it's thinner than this one. So I don't know if it's gonna work the way I was hoping. But we'll try it out. It's probably lighter. But the, like I said, the screw mechanism that the cold shoe screws down on is recessed from the cold shoes. But I did put the uh, s uh, small rings on there. But I didn't think because it ordered two of them that I thought I was gonna replace this one altogether. That's why. So I wouldn't have this set up like this. We'll see if it works. We'll have to try it out. I said it is 91 degrees, but I thought on my lunch I heard a little bit of thunder, and I wouldn't be surprised if by nightfall we don't get some. And I wouldn't be upset about it. So I'm disappointed last night with last night's storm, personally. Yeah, back that way it looks a little ominous. Yeah, when we get up to the high side, maybe we might see a little bit better. Maybe it'll be up a little higher. But that looks like a possible storm system rolling in. I'm not getting any alerts, though. It looks a little dark, though. In spots. These ones back here have a little bit of the same. Oh yeah, they're puffy. <laughs> right, it is going for seven o'clock at night. Sun is in a, I wouldn't say setting yet. But we are at the park. We are in Nixon, less like I said they are in New York today. So it's the three of us. These guys walking here. Nice little exercise in. And we have you guys in Terry's car. It is just such a beautiful night out though. <sighs> I took a nice little nap, and I got woken up by my uncle calling me, telling me that he was home from the hospital. Surgery went well, and they actually released him a day early. So everything he's done, he's been ahead of schedule with this whole process. So good for him. But now you're going to get peed on, bro. Now he can start his healing process. I figure maybe in a couple more weeks, when he's feeling a little bit better, I'll try to go down and see him again. And uh, you know, just come down and even visit you. Spend some time with you so you're not alone, you know. So, 
see how schedules go and whatnot. And I mean, hell, even on a weekday, because he's not like he's going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, are you looking for your buddy, Nixon? <laughs> he's looking at the fun. Is he in there? He's not in there. Hi, puppy. Hi, puppy. Hi, puppy. Hi, puppy. He is hunting for Nixon. Since the squirrels are... <laughs> there he goes. He's up the tree now. <laughs> Silly squirrel. Just so beautiful. It's a peaceful night over here. It's actually quite calm. Everybody's out with family and friends, picnicking. <laughs> I think it's going to be chaotic, I'm sure. Not over here, but... <laughs> oh, honestly, the crowd is what I'm not looking forward to the most. I don't know what time I'm even going to head over so I can try to get my spot. The only thing I want to have is that we have that little white stool I've been using in the bedroom to do the curtains and stuff. I just want to take that over so I have something to kind of sit on. Holds up nice. Put it in my bag with shift cam, one tripod, I think. I don't think I'm going to take that. I don't really trust the Gorilla Pod being on the railing. So I'm just going to take a tripod along. Try to get set up in a good spot and uh, sit down and watch the show. What you doing, big dog? What makes some skittish like that? Oh, I don't know. Why? So just yeah, he's come here. He won't let me near him. <laughs> what you do, Priya? He's like, oh, Aww. Fred. It's just Fred, Priya. What's wrong? What is your problem? Hi, buddy. <laughs> yeah. You see? Oh, I got the uh, gizmo you got there for each dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it comes in handy. Except when they <laughs> wrap me up. <laughs> or really? You gonna bark back? You just... Oh. oh Scare him. Don't scare him. <laughs> <laughs> He's a cutie, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Yeah, Mateo's like, I'll be your friend. <laughs> there was a uh, beagle basset in the playground the other day. Oh, really? Yeah. You could tell <laughs> that it was mixed, but. Mateo's. so afraid. Are you afraid, Bria? Yeah. What are you afraid of? That's not gonna hurt you. Oh, oh there we go. go. Oh, it barks. Sure, you do. Oh, yeah. She's good at it. She's very good at it. She sounds like Fred. Yeah. She just never got the howling. <laughs> Keeping Mike in the loop and sending him different videos. It was funny. I was not even paying attention to all this because Priya just started freaking out. They, she's met Fred multiple times. I don't understand. The last time she ran right up to him. I was fine with him tonight. I don't know. She's just being really weird. So, whatever. Let her do her. All right, Priya. You do you. She's like, yes, Dad. He doesn't want to be bothered. She doesn't want to be bothered. We all get like that some days. That is just such a cool shot. Pretty see that. Being good about it though. Yes, she is. Hey, buddy. What you doing? Huh? Good thing Nixon's not here. Yeah, good thing Nixon's not here. Look at you. You cutie. Let's see if I stand very still, they won't see me. <laughs> Alright, you have a good night. You enjoy your nuts. He has grown attention. Wait, Shepard. Shepherd Husky mix. Pretty puppy. Oh. Ain't you a pretty puppy? Huh? You a pretty puppy? Yes, you are. <laughs> yeah. Pretty puppy. <laughs> uh oh, is I and you up, Mateo? You're going to be dinner. Look at you. Aren't you just so cute? <laughs> You're Mateo's size, too. <laughs> kind of have to hurry up and get back to the car because. This watch is at 2%. I want to make sure I get the, uh, the walk completed prior to it dying. So, not too bad, though. We hit the two-mile mark on both of them, I believe. It was really weird today. I ran them both all day long at work. And for some reason, the my right arm went further than my left arm all day long. By, like, almost three-quarters of a mile by day's end. Which was, one was over nine miles, the other one was just under. Do you kids have a good walk? Huh? Do you have a good walk? Yeah? Can you go home? See mama? Oh. <laughs>